Hello, and welcome to Unit 4 of this week. This week, we'll be looking at Creative Commons Open Licenses. But before we go into Creative Commons, let's look at what Open Licenses are. A license is a document that specifies what can and cannot be done with a work, whether sound, text, image, or multimedia. An open license or open licenses are a set of conditions applied to an original work that grants permission for anyone to make use of that work as long as they follow the conditions of the license. Now, Creative Commons. A Creative Commons license is one of the several public copyright licenses that enable the free distribution of an otherwise copyrighted work. That is, a Creative Commons license is used when a creator wants others to share, use, and build upon the work that has been created by the creator. Creative Commons provides an auto flexibility. For example, they might choose to allow only non-commercial uses of a given work and protect the people who use or redistribute an author's work from concerns of copyright infringement as long as they abide by the condition that are specified in the license by which the author distributes the work. Creative Commons licenses all grant baseline rights, such as the right to distribute the copyrighted work worldwide for non-commercial purposes and without modification. In addition, different versions of license prescribe different rights. As shown on our screen, Creative Commons has four different rights. That is the attribution, which is also known as the buy, the share alike, which is also known as the SA, and the, the icon looks like an inverted copyrighted sign, also known as copyleft, the non-commercial NC, and non-derivative work ND, which has this icon like an equals to. Now, what the attribution rights does is the licensee may copy, distribute, display, perform the work and make derivative work and remix it based on it only if they give the author of the license the credit. So all they just want is you can do whatever you choose to do with it, but you must give credit to the creator of the work. Share alike also gives you the, the ability to distribute the, the derivative work under a license identica to the license of the original work. So you must share your work with an identical license because they wouldn't want you to use a more restrictive license than the license in the original work this license is also known as copyleft as you can see then the non-commercial you can copy distribute display but non-commercial non-derivative work you can copy distribute display but perform only verbatim copies of the work don't adapt, don't remix. Creative Commons has six different types of licenses, and we are going to look at them from the most permissive to the least. As you can see on your screen, the CC BY, which is the most permissive, this license allows users to distribute, remix, adapt, and build upon the material in any medium or format, as long as the attribution is given to the creator. This license allows for commercial use and all he wants is that does give credit to the creator. CC by SA, which is commonly used by institutions, and you know it's one of the most um, flexible um, Creative Commons license. This license allows users to distribute, remix, adapt, and build upon the material in any medium or format, as long as you give attribution to the creator, and also. You can you can use for commercial um, purpose. Um, you, if you remix, adapt, or build upon the material, you must license the modified material under the identical term. CC by NC. CC by NC. This means 
that you the reuser can distribute, remix, adapt, and build upon the material in any medium or any format for, for non-commercial purposes only. And only as long as attribution is given to the creator. You know, um, these are the following elements, the buy and the non-commercial. So it's not for sale. You can use for whatever means you want to use, but for non-commercial uses. CC by NCSA. This license allows reusers to distribute, remix, adapt, and build upon the material in any medium or format for non-commercial purposes only, and only as long as attribution is given to the creator. If you remix, adapt, or build upon the material, you must license the modified material under identical term. Now, why you will have to do that is because of this share alike. Now, it is for non-commercial purposes, adaptation must be shared under the same term and credit must be given to the author of the work. CC by ND. This license allows the user to copy and distribute the material in any medium or format in unadapted form only. That is to say, no derivative or adaptation of the work and credit must be given to the creator. Now, this, this license does not allow you to adapt, does not allow you to remix. All you need to do is give credit to the owner and you have to copy verbatim. CC by NCND. This license allows reusers to copy and distribute the material in any medium or format in unadapted form only for non-commercial purposes only, and only so long as attribution is given to the creator. Um, the CC by NCND includes the following elements, which are credit must be given to the creator, um, non-commercial usage of this work, and also no remixes and adaptation of the work is permitted. Of course, the CC0, which is a public dedicated tool which allows creators to give up their copyrights and put their work in the worldwide public domain. The CC0 allows reusers to distribute, remix, adapt, and build upon the material in any medium or format with no conditions. Now that you've understood the various Creative Commons licenses, now let's look at how to combine these licenses and how best you can use this Creative Commons license. Firstly, the CC BY. The CC BY license is the most permissive license of them all. Basically, what this license does is that it gives you permission to do whatever you choose to do with the work as long as you give attribute to the creator of the work. Now, with this license, if you have a material or you are using a work with this license and you want to license your own work, you can use any of the Creative Commons licenses for your work. The second one, the CC by NC. The CC by NC is non-commercial. Now, this, this means that while you use my work, it should not be used for commercial purposes. And I choose to license, and I want to license my work. I can use any of these three licenses for my work. I can use the CC by NC ND. I can use the... Um, CC by NCSA, share alike. I can also use the same license that the CC by NC for my work. The third one is the CC by SA. CC by SA means attribution and share alike. This means that when I'm using any document that has this license, I can only bot use an identical license. It has to be an identical term. So I cannot use any other license apart from this particular um, CC by SA because it needs to be shared alike. Or I take permission from the, from the author if I choose to do otherwise. CC by ND. CC by ND also, it's another license that gives you the leverage to use any of these three different licenses. So this also means that with CC by ND, ND means non-derivatives. 
that means that I cannot remix and I cannot adapt. So I can use the same license as CC by ND. I can use CC by NC ND. I can use CC by NC share alike. So those three would work perfectly with this. Then the other one, for instance, you have CC by NCSC, that's share alike. If I'm using a work from the document that has been licensed with this term, I can only but use the same term with it because that it's non-commercial. It also has to be shared alike. So I have to use the same license with this. So now that we've seen the various combinations of Creative Commons license and how we can use it on our, in our work, let's look at the fifth unit, unit five. Where will we be finding OER? Thank you.